On today's Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show, we recap the Bucks battle against the defending champion, Sioux Falls Storm. And later, the Bucks prepare to take on the Iowa Barnstormers for the second time in three weeks. We hear the Bucks sound off on what it'll take to get the job done this time around. And with three of the top five receivers in the league, we break down what makes the Bucks receiving course so special. It's all coming up on the Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show, which starts right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome inside our Beck Studios. I'm David Sugarman, and this is the Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show. Following a down-to-the-wire finish in Iowa, where the Bucks fell just short 49-42, Bismarck was hoping some home cooking might be the remedy. However, the road didn't get any easier as the Bucks welcomed in the defending champion, Sioux Falls Storm. Head coach Rod Miller and the Bucks looking for a bounce-back performance. Early first quarter, Sioux Falls strikes first. Wide receiver Brandon Shepard, just wants it more. 16-yard touchdown run. Storm leads 7-0. Next Storm drive. Quarterback Tommy Armstrong showing off the wheels. 25 yards into the end zone. Storm up 14-0 in the blink of an eye. Bucks offensive coordinator Corey Ross trying to find some life. A minute to go in the first. Quarterback Glenn Couillette found some. 26 yards to receiver Raheem Harvey. The Storm still lead 14-7. However, the Bucks are on the board, and the fans have something to cheer about. Second quarter, Bismarck down 21-7. Kuyet to a wide-open wide receiver. Mike Kerrigan, four-yard grab, 21-14 Sioux Falls. Everybody's loving it, including everyone's favorite mascot tag getting in on the action. Later in the second quarter, 28-14. A bad snap off the foot of Kuyet. Defensive lineman Daquan Harvin falls on it. Things are going swimmingly for Sioux Falls. 35-14. Three minutes to go in the first half. Kuyet down near the goal line again from four yards out. It's wide receiver JT Stokes, his league leading seventh touchdown grab of the season. It's 35-21. Sioux Falls still on top. Just a couple of ticks left in the first half. Under 10 seconds to go. Armstrong going to drop back and find a wide open man. Wide receiver Damian Ford, 13-yard grab. Armstrong finished with four total touchdowns going into the halftime break. Storm up 49-21. to Halfway through the third quarter, we pick things up. It's 55-21 Sioux Falls. Kuyet finds running back Justin Rankin. On a five-yard touchdown pass, Storm ahead 55 to 28, and the Bucks fall short 64 to 28 to fall to three and three. Despite the tough loss, Bismarck is hoping to take the loss in stride and not let the experience go to waste. It's tough, but I feel like you just gotta just take the you know whatever coach says in the meeting in the film room. You just gotta take that, take the criticism. Um, and just learn what it feels like or keep that in there, you know, what that felt like after the game. I think we understand now, like, this is going to be a dog fight every week because, you know, no teams are kind of are slacking in this league. So I feel like we went out there, we were a little too tight and up. We, were, we weren't really playing, ourselves, playing in ourselves. We were trying to be somebody that we weren't. And I feel like we're going to really be a way better team moving forward after this loss. Like Coach said, they're the gold standard, so we got to be platinum. So anytime you're playing a team like that, you got to be on your A game because they're going to capitalize on every mistake that you make. I try to not look at games like that as a loss, but more as a lesson. You know, everybody says take, you take an L, but I like my L's to be lessons um, just because you can grow and learn from that. Several other games in action around the IFL this weekend. Arizona gets by Green Bay 41-34. to Louisville falls on the road to Massachusetts 42-37. to Good one between Frisco and Duke City. 58-57, the fighters come out on top. And the Spokane Shock have no problems with the Northern Arizona Wranglers 42-24. 
The final game of the weekend featured the Bucks' next opponent. The Iowa Barnstormers finished with an impressive win in Tucson, 33-13 over the Sugar Skulls. The Bucks are already plenty familiar with the Barnstormers, having just been in Des Moines two weeks ago in what was a thriller that went down to the wire where the Bucks came up just short. Let's start near the finish in the fourth quarter. Early fourth, Bucks down by just a penny. Quarterback Glenn Couillette for wide receiver JT Stokes. 26 yards later, banging into the boards, making it worth it. One of three touchdowns on the day for Stokes. Bucks lead 42-36. Not long after that, Iowa responds. Quarterback to Quan Neal to a wide open receiver, Con Hollenbeck. 18 yards, 43-42. Later, after another Iowa score, it's 49-42. The Bucks set to get the football back with exactly a minute to go. That is until an onside kick. Kith kicker Nathan Criswell kicks the third total onside kick of the game. Hollenbeck was on it for the Barnstormers, and Iowa came out with the win. After their closest loss of the season came down to big plays on special teams, the Bucks' focus is squarely on that phase of the game. Special teams is huge. <laughs> um, just got to lock in and, and keep continue to do your part. Uh, just do your one-eighth out there on the field, play to the 0, zero, zero out there on the clock, and we're going to be fine. We just talked about it in the meetings, actually. It's, it's, a, it's a huge factor in the game, man. Special teams is huge. Everybody on there just got to lock in and individually do your part, and everything else will take care of itself. We felt like, you know, we let one slip away from us. Felt like when we go back and watch the film, there's some things that we could have done to change uh, where we were at in the game at that point. You know, the score, uh, down in distance, what, how much time was left on the clock, things like that. So we just want to go back and, you know, focus on ourselves. You know, Iowa's going to do what Iowa does, but we want to focus on the Bismarck Bucks and make sure we are playing perfect and doing what we're supposed to do. After a slow start this past week, Iowa shut out Tucson 20 to nothing in the second half to come away with the win. Coming off a sluggish start themselves, the Bucks are determined to bring the energy starting from the opening kick come Saturday. I think it's going to be a, a lot of energy, you know, uh, just competing wise and uh, positions and things in the air. You know, you never know who's going to be out there, so it's going to be a lot of energy. We're going to be excited. We're back at home. We definitely don't want our fans to look at it like, man, they just lost by 30 and they're going to come out like, nah. We're going to come out excited, come out ready to roll, come out ready to play. Had a strong start in Naz against Naz. That, that showed how powerful we can be once that confidence is going. So I think that would be big for us to have that strong start and just going out there and actually, you know, getting a first drive touchdown to set the tone properly for us as a team and to give our defense confidence as well that, hey, let's go get a stop for our offense so they can get another points on the board, you know? Very hungry, very hungry. It's very important that we win this week, and that's all we focused on. We're going to work hard at practice and put it together and come out on top this weekend. Time for a short break. When we come back, we'll sit down with Bismarck Bucks head coach Rod Miller. Hey Bucks fans, if you're planning an outing, birthday, or employee appreciation night, then bring your group out to the Buck Stop for a night of fast-paced, high-scoring football. Your group will receive discounted tickets, options for reserved seating, scoreboard messages, VIP services, swag, and a space to gather during the game. You can also participate in pre-game ceremonies, halftime entertainment, in-game contests, and more. Call 701-595-0771 or visit bismarckbucks.com forward slash tickets. All GA is first come, first serve. We'll see you on the turf. Go Bucks! Everybody needs an off-season, but our announcers have a tough time slowing down. Did you mind if I practice a little bit? Right, I don't really think that. Johnson right. holds, shoots, he scores! Incredible. For the second time today, Brent has jammed the printer. Lowry's third Carmel roll of the day. That's a bold move. And he drains one. Blind squirrel finds a nut. And back to normal. Staying connected is more important than ever. And we're proud to have connected you when it mattered most. Whether it was working remotely at your new home office or providing cutting edge security and connectivity solutions or connecting you to your customers in new ways. More than ever, your local co-op is here for you. Choose local, choose Beck Connect. 
Indoor football is back at the event center and the Bismarck Bucks season is right around the corner. The team will be fueled and ready to compete on game days thanks to our 2021 food sponsors. Dine with any of our supporting partners and get a free box ticket to any home game in the 2021 season. Great food and free football. Tickets are first come, first serve, so get yours now. Call 701-595-0771 for more ticket information. And go Bucks! Welcome back to the Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show, everybody. As we are every week, we're thrilled to be joined by Bucks head coach Rob Miller. Coach, thanks for joining us. I'm glad to be here. Obviously, a tough loss right. this weekend. In your mind, what was the biggest shortcoming that allowed the, the game to really get away from you guys? You know, I, I think we did not come out with the intensity that we needed. We didn't match, you know, the intensity with the intensity, the physicalness with the physicalness. You know, we came out uh, a little flat. I mean, we got better a little bit in the second half. But, you know, you can't come out against a team like Sioux Falls and expect to be in a game or win a game if you don't come out and match their intensity and, and match their um, – uh, how the best word to describe it, match their uh, thrill, fire for the game. I think we didn't have a lot of fire coming out, and I think that hurt us and got us down early. Last week coming off the Iowa loss, you were preaching to have a short memory. After a loss like that, much different than the Barnstormers' loss, is the message the same? Yeah, you have to have a short memory, and now we're tying to later what the code word for the week is. But, yes, you have to have a short memory. You have to bounce back and, and move on and realize, take a learning lesson. You know, in any situation, good or bad, is always something that you learn. Hopefully we learn the things that we did and things that we didn't do so we don't encounter those type of situations again. Just 54 rushing yards this week, your lowest output since week two. What adjustments need to get made to remedy that? You know, we just have to come out and, and fight with desire and play with passion. I think, you know, we didn't have the intensity that we needed. You know, when you run a game or anything, you have to have intensity. You have to have uh, that that tenacity to play like that. I didn't think we were lacking a little tenacity this game. We were lacking that full thorough power that we need to have our run game be successful. So those things we have to go back to the drawing board and make sure that we have those things going from the beginning. Offensively, there were some bright spots. Quarterback Glenn Couillet, four touchdowns to four different players. I know you want more of it, but how much are you liking that balance out of your offense right now? I mean, that balance is good. Like I said, we're getting scores, we're getting some touchdowns. You know, what we have to do is we have to improve on making sure that, you know, we're not getting stopped early in the game as, as some situations have been. And we got to make sure we're not turning the ball over. You know, you can have, like you said, you can have four great scores, but, you know, if you turn the ball over a couple of times, mm -hmm. that still, you know, equates itself, you know. So we got to look at that. We need to be balanced of making sure we're scoring when we need to score, scoring every series and not turning the ball over. But our offense has been productive. Uh, they're going to be productive, but they'll continue to be productive. So we just want them to keep getting better each week as they are. Some struggles defensively this yes. past week, but a bright spot, Trey Harvey back in the lineup after missing the previous week. How important was it to have him back? You know, it was good having him back and doing some things as well, you know, but just like anything else, you know, we all make mistakes around the ball defensively. You know, we've been accustomed to getting about four or four and a half stops a game. You know, we weren't getting those type of stops. We were making some fundamental mistakes, and our tackling was bad this game. You know, so there were some things we are going to go back to the drawing board and fix. You know, we were kind of banged up going into that game a little bit. So, you know, we kind of backed off a little contact, but we're not going to do that any further. We're going to make sure we keep going and fighting through that as well. Looking ahead. Iowa coming to town, second time you're taking on the Barnstormers in three weeks. First time was a great matchup, 49-42. When you think back to that game, what stands out the most? You know, the main thing is just make sure we're prepared and making the right calls. Like I said, at the end of the game, you know, we had a, a coaching staff thing to make sure that we had the right call, safe call in that return. So, you know, we're going to anticipate, you know, some more onside kicks that's going to happen. But the main thing for us is to come out and play as we have been playing previously to this last game. If we do that, play with that intensity, uh, doing those type of things, doing our assignments, knowing our roles uh, inside the defense, inside the offense, and inside the special teams, you know, we'll feel very comfortable we can come out with a victory. You just mentioned the onside kicks. Three total in that game. You guys recovered one as well. Obviously, the, the big one down the stretch. We talk a lot about the X's and O's of offense and defense. How do you prepare from a special teams angle when you know it's going to be even more important? 
you know, you have to focus. You know, we tell our guys in this game, especially an indoor game, it's 33% of the game. You know, you got offense, defense, and special teams, and 1% luck is what we call it. And that 1% luck is four plays that happen during the course of a game, and they can happen during special teams. So we, we have to prepare just like it's a very important segment of the game. And special teams, especially in this league, in this game, is very important because it's a big part of the game. Every four plays is a special teams play. After the way the first matchup ended, there were several players who said, one play here, one play there, and we're walking out of Iowa 4-1. and one. How excited are these guys to get another crack at a team that they felt they should have beat? No, they're very excited. One, they're excited to try to get back on a winning track, beat a team that we you know, should have beaten the last time, uh, been a chance to play at home. And like I said, we've had two losses in a row, so we're excited to get back on the winning track of things. So they're very excited, got a lot of motivation to get us going. Um, even without that motivation, just to try to be great and try to be a winner, that's what you strive to be. So it's very important for us, for all these guys, coaches, players, fans, everyone, that we get back on a winning track. Last week, the word was short memory. We've got a new code word for the week, hopefully a chance for somebody to win a VIP turf table at this week's upcoming home game. Coach, what's the word people should pay attention to? A word for this week is single. And where we specialize in is realizing that we have a 16-game schedule, but every game is a single game. Every game does not tie into the next game. So we have to realize you know, the last game that happened, what happened, what we learned from it, but that was a single game on our schedule. Now we're moving on to the next game. So that's our key words, realizing that was one game, it was a single game. Now we're moving on to the next game, the next single game, and we have to make sure we get a victory with this next game coming up. The word to pay attention to this week from the coach is single. Head coach Rod Miller, thanks so much for joining us as always. Glad to be here as always. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll dive a little bit deeper into the success of the weapons in the Bismarck Bucks receiving core. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show. Hey, Bucks fans. If you're planning an outing, birthday, or employee appreciation night, then bring your group out to the Buck Stop for a night of fast-paced, high-scoring football. Your group will receive discounted tickets, options for reserved seating, scoreboard messages, VIP services, swag, and a space to gather during the game. You can also participate in pre-game ceremonies, halftime entertainment, in-game contests, and more. Call 701-595-0771 or visit BismarckBucks.com forward slash tickets. All GA is first come, first serve. We'll see you on the turf. Go Bucks. Everybody needs an off-season. Laura announcers have a tough time slowing down. Did you mind if I have to practice a little bit? Right, I don't really think that. Johnson right. holds, shoots, he scores! Incredible. For the second time today, Brent has jammed the printer. Lowry's third caramel roll of the day. That's a bold move. And he drains one. Blind squirrel finds a nut. And back to normal. Staying connected is more important than ever. And we're proud to have connected you when it mattered most. Whether it was working remotely at your new home office or providing cutting edge security and connectivity solutions or connecting you to your customers in new ways. More than ever, your local co-op is here for you. Choose local, choose Beck Connect. Indoor football is back at the event center and the Bismarck Bucks season is right around the corner. The team will be fueled and ready to compete on game days thanks to our 2021 food sponsors. Dine with any of our supporting partners and get a free box ticket to any home game in the 2021 season. Great food and free football. Tickets are first come first serve so get yours now. Call 701-595-0771 for more ticket information and go Bucks! Welcome back. After the first few weeks where the Bucks were juggling between two different quarterbacks, they eventually set settled on Glenn Couillet. However, one thing that's been consistent from the jump is the play of the Bismarck wide receivers. JT Stokes, Raheem Harvey, and Mike Kerrigan are all in the top five in the league in receiving yards. Stokes leads the league with 273 yards and is second with seven touchdowns. With so many options, the Bucks have been a nightmare for opposing secondaries, and the confidence comes from each wideout bringing their own set of skills to the table. Because for each position, there's special things for us to do. So uh, we really just had to stay focused on the game plan without the week. And uh, 
some game plans are just meant for more guys to burst open than others. But we all got weapons. There's weapons everywhere. So you can't stop it. Even if the groove ain't so high, it's still kind of hard to stop us. But definitely when we all sky high, yeah, there's nobody can touch us. We're going to be very dangerous. I can already go on the tee. We're going to be very dangerous. Everybody works hard. Like, our offense is going to, we're going to click. Like, everybody's going to eat. It's going to be a nice. It's going to be nice. Maybe the only man happier than that terrifying trio is their quarterback, Glenn Couillette. Couillette knows this group has a high ceiling, and they haven't even come close to reaching it. I think very lethal, honestly. Uh, I think we don't even realize how lethal we can be just yet either. Like, we're just seeing that, you know, glimpse of it, like sort of flashes of it in film. So I think once we start turning that page, then it's, we can be something special. We can't wait to see what else this offense has in store. Time for another break. When we come back, it'll be time for another installment of Hurry Up Offense. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the Bismarck Bucks Coaches Show. Hey, Bucks fans. If you're planning an outing, birthday, or employee appreciation night, then bring your group out to the Buck Stop for a night of fast-paced, high-scoring football. Your group will receive discounted tickets, options for reserved seating, scoreboard messages, VIP services, swag, and a space to gather during the game. You can also participate in pre-game ceremonies, halftime entertainment, in-game contests, and more. Call 701-595-0771 or visit bismarckbucks.com forward slash tickets. All GA is first come, first serve. We'll see you on the turf. Go Bucks! Everybody needs an off-season, but our announcers have a tough time slowing down. Did you mind if I practice a little bit? Right, I don't really think that. Johnson holds, shoots, he scores! Incredible. For the second time today, Brent has jammed the printer. Lowry's third caramel roll of the day. That's a bold move. And he drains one. Blind squirrel finds a nut. And back to normal. Staying connected is more important than ever. And we're proud to have connected you when it mattered most. Whether it was working remotely at your new home office or providing cutting edge security and connectivity solutions or connecting you to your customers in new ways. More than ever, your local co-op is here for you. Choose local, choose Beck Connect. Indoor football is back at the event center and the Bismarck Bucks season is right around the corner. The team will be fueled and ready to compete on game days thanks to our 2021 food sponsors. Dine with any of our supporting partners and get a free box ticket to any home game in the 2021 season. Great food and free football. Tickets are first come first serve so get yours now. Call 701-595-0771 for more ticket information and go Bucks! for another hurry up offense this week we're back to the defensive side with defensive end lawrence ross the third lawrence we're going to fire some rapid fire questions your way get to know you a little bit better that sound all right to you let's do it let's rock and roll favorite superhero nightcrawler nightcrawler that's a little bit of a deep cut is that i don't even is that marvel dc marvel marvel x-men Mar i like that okay oh i do remember him now a little bit from the movies uh speaking of the movies when they cast the, when they play the movie about your life who are you going to cast to play you Hmm, that's a good question. I would say Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert, going with the rapper. I like yeah. that. Does he act too? Or this I don't is going to be his breakthrough role? This is his breakthrough role. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, caramel dos de luce, dose de leche, uh, Hagen dazs You're looking at me like I know the answer. I definitely uh, don't, but I, but I, but like you a very caramel, specific taste. But I would say, or, or wild and reckless okay. from Baskin Robbins. Yeah. Most memorable football career moment. Hmm. So my junior Pee Wee year, 2005, I had a strip fumble recovery, and we wound up running the play, and that was to win the championship, Turkey Bowl championship. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, thing you like the most about playing in the IFL? It's faster pace, and it's closer to the quarterback, so it's a shorter route there. Defensive end, Lawrence Ross III. This has been another Hurry Up Offense. Thanks, Lawrence. Thank you. Big thanks to Lawrence for helping us out this week, and I've got to see if I can find that ice cream flavor next time I'm at the store. That was very, very specific.
Big thanks to Lawrence once again. Now it's time to give away some free stuff and reveal our Coach's Code Word winner from last week. It is one Jeremy Francis. Jeremy, keep an eye on the inbox the next couple of days, and we will be getting in touch with you about how you can get your VIP turf table at the Bucks' next home game this Saturday against the Barnstormers. If you want to be like Jeremy and win some free stuff, a VIP turf table, possibly some swag, you're going to want to pay attention to our coach's code word. This week, it is single. Single is the code word for this week. Go to the Bucks' social media stories right after the show. Bismarck Bucks Football on Facebook, at Bismarck Bucks on Twitter, and at Bismarck Bucks on Instagram. Every week at 6.30, Wednesday nights, we're going to have head coach Rod Miller on the show with us to break down all things Bucks and give us that code word each and every week. Before we go, let's take a quick look at the Bucks' upcoming schedule. The Bucks are at home this Saturday, taking on Iowa for a 6.05 start. After that, it'll be a three-week road trip, three weeks away from Bismarck. First, it'll be a stop in Green Bay, taking on the Blizzard for the third time this season. They've already taken down Green Bay twice. Sioux Falls after that, and then Massachusetts before coming back to Bismarck to take on the Frisco Fighters on July 16th. That'll do it for this week's show. For our entire Beck Sports and Beck News crew working so hard behind the scenes to make this show possible, I'm David Sugarman saying so long. We hope to see you at the event center this Saturday. It's the Bucks and the Barnstormers 6.05 kickoff. If you can't be there, you know we'll have the call right here on Beck.